Welcome to Model Lessons in Mathematics, Elementary Science and Technology, Social Studies, Creative Arts, Physical Education for Lower Primary Grades, produced by Rwanda Education Board in collaboration with the World Bank. Hello everyone, my name is Teacher Jane and I'm here to teach Primary 2 Science and Elementary Technology. Our unit of the day is Light and Heat and our lesson is Sources of Light. Sources of Light. When we talk of sources of light, these are things which provide us with light provide us with light. If I may ask, what helps you to see in your bedroom during night? What helps you to see in your bedroom during night? Uh -huh. There are different sources that provide light at night, and there are those ones which provide light during the day, like now. What helps us to, what helps our eyes to see now? It's the sun. Very good, it's the sun. So sources of light, they are of different types. We have different types of sources of light. They are those ones which are natural. Natural sources, those are the ones which were created by God. Those ones we are created by God, the natural sources. And then we have the artificial sources of light. Artificial, those are the ones that are made by man. So we have natural sources of light, and we have artificial sources of light. The natural one we are created by God. And then the artificial ones are made by man. So those are the types of sources of light we have. Sources of light are of two types. Sources of light are of two types. The first one is the natural, natural sources of light. Natural sources of light, you have said these are the ones which we have created by God. Natural Sources of light are sources of light created by God. Natural sources of light are sources of light created by God. And we have examples. Like now, when you look outside, the one which is providing us with light is the sun. It's the sun. It is very, very far. Every morning we see it when it is in the east, and in the evening we see it when it is in the west. But here I have at least the picture of it, the sun. This one, it was created by God and it provides us with light during the day. During the day. So it's an example of a natural source of light. We have the sun as an example of, of natural examples of natural sources of light. 
We have seen the sun. And it's the main source of light. The sun is the main source of light. Then we have another natural source of light. Also, this one, for it, it provides during the day. I have the picture of it. It provides during night, the stars. This is a star. It provides light during night. It's a natural source. It was created by God, stars. It's also an example of natural source. Stars, when it's one, it's a star. Then we have other worms. We can call them fireflies or glow worms. Do you normally stay outside during the night? Do you see these worms? They move. As they move, they provide light at night. They move and they provide light. The fire flies or glow worms. They are also natural source of light. They were created by God. Fireflies, you can call them fireflies, or glow, glow, glow worms. Glow worms. So these, these ones are the examples of sources of light which were created by God. For the sun, it provides light during day. Then the fireflies during night, the stars during night. Good. So, hello, Mr. Sun. I love you so much. You give us the light during the day. Hello, Mr. Sun. I love you so much. You give us the light during the day. Hello, Mr. Star. I love you so much. You give us the light during the night. Hello, Mr. Star. I love you so much. You give us the light during the night. Stars, they give us light during the night, and then the sun gives us light during the day. Now, let us see the second source of light. The first one we have said is natural source of light, which are created by God. And we have given examples. Then number two, type number two. These ones are artificial, artificial. These are made by man. They are made by man, and they provide us with light mostly during night, at night, artificial sources. At fish sources of light. These artificial sources of light are made by man. These ones are made by man. And we are going to see the examples. Examples of artificial sources of light. Can you tell me one that you use at home, at night? What helps you to see at night? Uh-huh. Someone has mentioned the bulb. Very good. The bulb, you have to be having electricity. So you switch on. We have the bulb here. This one is a bulb. It's made by man. Also, this one is a bulb. 
They are of different designs, but they serve the same purpose. This one and this one. Bulbs. These ones provide us light with light, mostly during night. Even during day, when the weather is not clear, you can switch on. Bulbs. Bulbs. They provide us with light. Bulbs. Bulbs. Uh -huh. Then we have this one. How many have got this at home? You have it. That's good. Uh huh. It's called a what? Okay. It's called a lamp. A lamp. This one is a lamp. Inside here, they put in paraffin. They put in paraffin. They open here they, and they put in paraffin. This one, you have to light it. You light it using a matchbox. You get the matchsticks. Then you press here with care because it has a glass. You press there. Then you get your matchbox. You get a matchstick. You light the matchstick. Then you light. Have you seen? You light it. Then you press here to cross with care so that the glass does not break. This one is called a lamp. It provides light during night. Also, matchsticks are sources of light, these ones. They are sources of light. Once you press them on this match box, they provide light. This one also is a source of light, the match stick. When you are using it, you have to be careful because it can harm you, it can burn you. So we have the lamp, you light it using the match sticks, and also the match sticks are also sources of artificial sources of light. So we have seen the lamp. We have seen the match sticks. Match sticks. And once you light them, they provide what? Fire. Fire also is a source. Fire. Once you light those match sticks. Then we have also this one. Do you have it at home? You have it. Oh, it's bigger than this. Okay. This one also is a source of light. If you want it to provide light, what do you do? You place. There is here where you place. Uh, and once you press, it gives light. When do we normally use this? At, at night. We use it at night. It provides us light. So you press here. When you want to use it, you press. And after using it, you have to switch off so that you don't waste. Inside there is a dry cell. And there are those ones which are put on electricity. But this one inside, it has a dry cell. For it to work, it, there should be a dry cell. Have you seen it? So if it is not in the use, make sure that you switch off. It's not good to waste the resources, OK? This one is called a torch. It's called a what? A torch. It provides us with the light. And it is made by man, torch. Torch. It's an artificial source of light. We have another one here. This one. Do you use it at home? When electricity is off? Yeah, but you have to be careful when you are using these candles. They are very deadly. You have to make sure that you use them in a proper way. And at least when you are using them, make sure that you get the candle holder and you press them inside. And don't move with them when you are going to your rooms. Fire can easily 
start with this can and it destroys the whole house. So you have to be careful when you are using candles. These ones also, they provide light with the help of the match sticks. If you want to, to light these ones still, you will get the match stick as we have seen there. So you light them using the match sticks, but you have to be careful when you are using them, okay? These ones are called candles. They are called what? Candles. They provide light during night, okay? Candles. Candles. So these things provide light. They help our eyes to see. Without light, our eyes cannot be able to see. We need them. And we have to handle them with care, and we should not waste them. If you are not in need of it, you have to make sure that you switch off this one. You go off, you off turn like this. Uh -huh. If you are not in need of it, okay? Have you seen? If you want to light it, you press here with care, and then you light. After using it, you switch off. You don't want to waste resources. You don't want to waste resources. So, hello, Mr. Lamb. I love you so much. You give us the light during the night. This one gives us the light during night because at night there is darkness. We cannot see, so we use it. Hello, Mr. Lamb. I love you so much. You give us the light during the night. Hello, Mr. Torch. I love you so much. You give us the light during the night. Okay? So let us read through what we have seen. Sources of light are of two types. They are of two types. The first type is natural sources of light. Natural sources of light are sources of light created by God. They are created by who? God. Examples of natural sources of light. We have the sun. And remember, it's the main source of light, okay? We have the stars. We have the fireflies or the glowworms. These two, the fireflies or the stars, they are seen at night. They are seen at night. Then we have the artificial sources of light are made by man. Examples of artificial sources of light are bulbs. We have seen them. We have seen the torch. We have seen the lamp. We have seen the candles. These ones are made by man. Now, try this work here, okay? Try this work here. Get your book. Make sure you print. You write properly, better than me. Your book has to be neat. Give three examples of natural sources of light. Give three natural sources of light. Remember, we have said natural sources of light are the ones created by God, okay? Number two, mention three examples of artificial sources of 
light. These ones are created by, they are made by man. They are created or they are made by man, the artificial ones. Make sure you write properly. Underline with a lula. Don't underline with your free hands. Print, better than the teacher, I know. We have people who can print. Make sure your work is neat, okay? Give three examples of natural sources of light. Natural are created by God. Number two, mention three examples of artificial sources of light. Artificial sources are made by man. Very good. I'm seeing people are busy writing. Make sure that your work is neat. Uh -huh. Good children, you have behaved well today and you deserve flowers because of the way you have behaved in the class. You have participated, you deserve this. Okay? Uh huh. I'm seeing people winding up, which is good. That's good. Very good. You have seen sources of light, things that provide light. Trinkle, trinkle, little stars, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Trinkle, trinkle, little stars, how I wonder what you are. Trinkle, trinkle, little stars, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Trinkle, trinkle, little stars, how I wonder what you are. So, stars provide us with light during night. So, what you are going to do for me, the homework of the day here, our homework, name these sources of light. They are mixed up. We have this. You draw it, when you reach home, you name it. We have this. Draw, you reach home, you name. We have this. We have this, we have this. And we have seen them. So copy properly. You reach home, you write their names. Okay? Copy properly. And don't forget your book tomorrow morning when you are coming. And you should not leave your book on the table after copy, after answering. You might forget it. After answering, you put it in your bag. Okay? Very good. Uh -huh. People have finished. Put those books in your bags. That's good. That's good. Uh -huh. Make sure that you take care of these sources of light. Don't waste them. If you are not in need of light, switch off, okay? Don't waste. When you waste, that is money which would have paid your school fees that you are wasting. Thank you for your attention. I love you. We meet tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.